What is going on you beautiful human being? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're reacting to Mashoku Tensei episode 8 and 9, The White Mask, The Fiance of Despair, should be really good. If you like my content, hit the like button, consider maybe even subscribing, and hit the notification bell so that you stay up to date with it. Anyways, let's just jump straight into it. Let's go. <clears throat> Here we go. I think this one is called The Fiance of Despair. Oh my gosh. It's gonna be very interesting to see. I did predict in the last episode that in the last two episodes I said was really slow. So I was thinking that in this episode, these two next episodes, we're gonna see something really happen. Some type of turn of event or maybe just maybe an intense fight even. What's this guy going on about now? I, I forgot that guy's this guy's name actually. It's been a while since he was even on screen. Oh, that's probably him getting bullied pick on a turtle probably gonna say i didn't need your help or something like that <laughs> oh my gosh mystic mike i should change my channel's name to mystic mike because like the way i predict things in all these animes i'm watching like if you just go through it and i'm like i call something i've been doing it the whole time it's normal for me now but that's the one thing about mushoku tensei is you can kind of just sit back and enjoy it because it's so well done the art style it's just it's just wonderful to watch there's this girl I like oh so that's the one he was out side of her window and it's get let me guess okay here's mystic mike maybe it's princess ariel oh my gosh no ways ellen and lees ellen and ellen and lees bro if you only knew <laughs> bro that is the wrong oh my gosh Sylphie is just jealous the whole time. Why does it sound like someone is sleeping in the claws? Can you hear that snoring? Bro, this guy has no idea what he's in for. Like, he's gonna have a pocket full of money as well. Because, you know, that's how Ellen and Ellen Elise is. I keep it's like a tongue twister. <coughs> what are the chances what are the chances now all of a sudden oh that's what she's saying but what are the chances that the one person that actually wants her now she can't do it because he's gonna get jealous that's the other thing we haven't had a time skip in some time meaning like even if it's just a few months and this might actually be it They're in heat. Matrimonial duel. Wait, what? Who's this? <laughs> oh my gosh, she has to fight. Look, we we all know that the only blue haired person is Roxy. So now just to drop another one in there is like kinda weird. What? Oh my gosh. Some behemoth. Wait, so maybe I was right. Maybe we are gonna get a crazy fight. Even if it's through this whole process. Oh my god. The Demon King. Wow. Wait. Remember, I think it was in, maybe it was in the intro or something. Or when they were on the journey this way. This guy was in, like I showed a bit of this guy with like all the demons. Isn't that the one who gave him the eye? Oh, that is his fiance. This looks like it's going to be a good fight. No kappa. Wow. Again with the name Lapless. But we haven't really gotten like much information on it other than what Rujed was talking about. So he's still alive is what I take it. Oh my goodness. He's going to mention the man god. 
貴様その名前をどこで聞いたのだ夢に出てくるんですわからん貴様も笑え<笑><笑> What is up with? I mean, obviously, he's saying that he doesn't know who the man god is, but it's gonna be. And I'm guessing that it might only be revealed in like season three, because I don't think that this season. I mean, I could be wrong. Hopefully, I'm wrong. But I do feel like this is one of those shows that's gonna go out for a long time. You might only really get down to things at season five, season six, you know? <laughs> What? That's crazy. But now he's so strong, though. But I don't know if it'll be able to beat this guy, though. Holy troll. Imagine he kills him. Whoa. That's insane. Wait, why is he so small? What? I have no idea why he was so small. Oh my gosh. Oh. Who's this now? Oh my gosh. Badagadi. Is he now a student at the university? He just came through the side of the roof. Or is he the teacher? We've jumped straight into the next episode, episode 9. <laughs> oh my gosh. I wonder if they're gonna pick it up and notice it. I've like I've given up on her telling him who she is. But if if she can tell him who she is at the end of this episode, I will be so happy. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is come on, Sophie. Just do it. Just tell the guy who you are and get it over with. Teleportation seems like summoning, okay? So basically in the literature, you can't summon people yet. This thing literally teleported everybody. Silent Seven Star. Oh, is this the blue haired one? Oh, this is... I'm not even sure. But then again, that's the other thing, right? He hasn't mentioned Sulfi once, even to Master Foot. So, like, I'm not surprised that she is, like, nervous to say it. The White Mask. Okay, because this episode is called The White Mask. It's been a while. Oh, it's her. I remember now. Holy shit. She was with Orsted. Oh my goodness, what a twist. I was not expecting that. What language is... Oh, it's Sophie. Talking what language, exactly? What language are they speaking? It'll be a while before he comes for you. Wow. She might ask about the man god. Oh my gosh. This is so wild. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is so wild. So it's not just him who got reincarnated there. Now she's gonna say your real name. Wow. To go back to our world. I don't want to go back. Lame fantasy manga. <laughs> what? She was teleported, but wasn't she hit by the truck? This is so interesting. Wow, the show just took a complete right turn. 
The whole world in one year. The teleportation. Oh my gosh. So Orsted is the one who teleported everybody. Wow, there's so much happening right now. This is so crazy. We're foreign objects to this world. She doesn't have mana. Crazy. This is actually a huge reveal. For five years and I don't seem to age. Yeah, because she looked the same as when she was in the other world. This has just changed the whole trajectory of Mushoku Tensei. You know, it was so slow, like this whole season actually. And now they've hit us with like the real truth of what is actually going on. Wow, I literally have goosebumps all over my body. This is insane. Sylph has just been in the corner the whole time. Wow, okay, she's using his mana. Wow, this is so crazy. Oh my gosh, they've been talking Japanese the whole time. And that's why Sylph is just like... That would... Okay, I would say that afterwards. But that would be like talking English randomly after you've learned some other language. The mass teleportation was probably a backlash. Okay. I might have caused it. Oh my gosh. What? Oh my goodness, how in that was intense now. I was hoping that she would just take off the glasses and be like, Oh my gosh, man, there's so much to take in right now. Wow, that was crazy. That was incredible to hear, incredible to take in. It, it almost, it's like we're finally figuring out what the show is actually about and what it's leading to. And please just end this off with her telling him who she is so that I can be at peace. And who are those two names? Come on, Sylphie, please. Oh my goodness, just, oh my gosh, I'm losing patience. Do it. Just say it. Just say it. I don't care if you end the episode. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is that... <laughs> oh, I'm so... <sighs> like, I, I mean, I try to say it, right? I try to say that, you know, I'm not... I don't care anymore whether she tells him or doesn't tell him. I don't care anymore. I, I know I said that. I said that, like, in the beginning. But I just... I just wanted to tell him. Like, what? They didn't tell us that. And the first episode was... It was okay. Not much happened. We saw him fought the, the Demon King. And he showed some incredible magic. And... But he lost so but that episode was kind of just you know we didn't really figure out a lot and then in this last episode episode 9 i think they really dropped it on us and i remember now that that chick was walking with the dragon god initially and now we find out that she said she might have actually caused the mass teleportation which is just wild to think about that it was kind of a side effect of something that she's trying to do and even crazy that's the one that we saw in the very beginning of the show when and Rudis was still back in, in the normal world. And she was, was the one who got... I mean, if I remember correctly, she got killed. So, I... It's very intense. I'm actually... I'm a little bit shocked too. Because at this point now, we're starting to see what the show is about. And then there was these other two names that on the piece of paper that in the beginning, I thought he might have recognized, but he didn't. And so, now we're starting to move more towards what the show is actually about and how everything is interlinked. The fact that they are both from Earth as well. And he actually knew her. She probably didn't know him, but... And how it was, it's different. Like, she seems to have been teleported there. While he was reincarnated there. If you want to get me any more excited for the show, drop an episode like that. That was crazy. That was very intense. It was... It's crazy how the first episode was so slow. And I kind of just accepted it for what it was. And then, boom. You had this polar opposite of... Now I'm sitting here, my brain is literally scrambled i'm like what the hell is going on here but anyways if you like my content hit the like button consider subscribing really great episode i got much more content hit the notification bell to go with that i'm gonna leave the other video up over here but that's gonna be it for me i'm out peace in a bit